Right, I'm quickly going to cover uh, just connecting this up to your PC and getting the software uh, for this working because it's a bit, uh, <coughs> it's not involved, it's uh, just not very clear uh, from the instructions in the manual. Uh, the CD doesn't really uh, have instructions as such. Uh, first thing to notice, this is plugged into the mains but clearly turned off. Um, but as soon as you plug the USB uh, in, it will be recognised. And uh, we're just in Device Manager uh, now, and uh, it will, if we can zoom in, uh, when you plug it in, it will come up as a uh, COM port. So it's the USB serial CH340 COM4 in my case. So um, if you unplug the cable, you'll see that disappear. So that's going to help you know what, uh, what COM port it is uh, on. Now, if we go back over here, have downloaded uh, the latest software and I've also included and I've added to it the driver uh, software because what you need to do um, is go into this driver folder and run this setup program and that is going to install the correct drivers so just run the setup program just come over here and uh, Okay, so you would normally just hit install now. If there's nothing in this window here, just hit the pull down box, select that one, and uh, click install, and that will install this here. Okay, now once that's done and you've made a note of what COM port your device is on, you can go back to the software and you're going to need to run uh, the power dc program notice there are this time some uh, instructions included they're not very clear to be fair uh, so just double click on the power dc well, that is going to open up uh, now what i've done is i added a new device um, but you don't need to do that you can edit the default uh, device but what you'll notice now is down in the taskbar there's a little uh, symbol DC regulated power supply okay so if you just right click that and then you can go to sampling ports settings and that will come up here and you'll see a default device has been set up on COM port 1 um, that is no use uh, to us uh, you can uh, amend it here if you click on that the available COM port uh, will be shown and you can set it but what I did was uh, just simply went to add a device um, yeah you need to change the name here and uh, then click uh, the setting so COM4 whatever you want whatever comes up on yours and then click on add I actually created a new one called Rockseed. Uh, we can def de delete the default device actually, I assume. Yeah, so we can delete that just leaving our Rockseed program. If we go back over to the main, let me just open this up fully. Uh, on, let's shut that down. If we go back over here, we've got that Rockseed now, and if you Turn your machine on. So clearly that USB is being powered all the time. So if we go, that is now on. Uh, let's just put it to output. And you've got your Rockseed. If you double click on that, in a few seconds you will see uh, this change and uh, now we've got the voltages um, so we can set it from here look if we type in 15 volts and setting which is spelled incorrectly it should just say set I think and uh, you can see it's changed there we've got a setting success uh, box there which we can click OK on and if you look at this graph it has gone along at the 3 volts 
and then it's jumped up to 15 volts there and it's giving you a time frame and everything current obviously and uh, watts maximum power it's all uh, it's all on there and if we look over here it's changed onto there if we go to 32 volts on there you can see that it's again it's changed there and if we get over to here you can see it's jumped up there and there's some information so yeah pretty straightforward once you know uh, what to do um, so you're definitely going to need to change your COM port unless you're very lucky some other things you can change here change the address. I, mean, I wouldn't mess with any of it unless you really need to. Automated output? I have no idea. Okay, there's a range of choices there. Or something I haven't investigated yet but just wanted to show you how to get the basic software running oh, I see that's in amps I was thinking that was milliamps so let's just chuck in uh, 3.5 and hit set success there and uh, now we've limited the maximum current to 3.5 so um, yeah it all seems to work it's basic it can store uh, this chart uh, all three of them and uh, whether that's useful to anyone or not I don't know but that is how to uh, install it